So hi guys, hope you are doing good. And today I'm going to be showing you how to tie the uni to uni knot. That is the best knot to tie to your from your main line to your leader line or your shock leaders. So here for main line I've got 30 pound braid is 4x. This is very good, very cheap cost. This line is Pro Ocean Braid and uh, is very strong. Very strong. This 4x, but still it casts far. Okay, and this is my 30 pound monofilament that I use for shock leaders and stuff. Okay, so let's try this, guys. So, you need to you need not is for tying from your main line to your shock leaders or your leader line i'm repeating again okay so let's try this so first you need to put one line on top of other like that pull a little bit then hold this line and make a loop like that and start wrapping this around the line. Okay, three times is good. If you want more, you can do, but I like three times or four times. Three times. Then don't pull your monofilament, just pull your braid or tighten from both sides. See, this is how it will come out. See, okay, so pull now that is done. So pull your monofilament line, okay, so that is good for a monofilament, and make this loop for a monofilament as well. Try this, uh, wrap this one around three times as well one two and three that's good for you then pull both of your lines just like that Okay, both of the monofilament lines. Then pull both the monofilament and the braided together. You found that. That is how to tie your shock leaders or leaders to the main line. Then trim your excess line. It is important because when you are casting, if you don't trim it perfectly, this thing is going to interrupt when you are casting. Okay, so cut this line off. This one is good. If you want, you can cut more. If you are, the eye of your rod is small, you can cut more. And it's according to the fish you are targeting, how many times you should wrap it around. Okay, so that's it. That's enough. Okay, so now we'll cut the excess braid. Braid will not interrupt while you're casting because braid is very soft. While as monofilament is hard, it will just not go very easily. So this is the knot, uni to uni. This is the easiest of all knots you can tie from your leader or shock leader to your main line. But the other knots are there as well, but they are way more harder, like the FG knot. FG knot is very hard. I don't know how to tie that, but I will use this one. For the flat head, the big size, I use this knot. And it worked out good. Okay, so let's tie it another time, guys.
Okay, so let's time another uh, tie another guy time guys. Okay, again the same thing. Make this loop this way. Make this loop like just like this. That one came wrong. Okay, so just like that. And start wrapping this thing around. Oops, I did wrong. I <laughs> did it on again. This happens with me as well. It comes out wrong. I don't take some practice. Still, I am also new beginner to this knot because uh, I still don't know much. I just started uh, trying for big fish just like two three months ago and that's when i was uh, i uh, i was taught this knot from youtube okay so this is the perfect one then pull this one make do the same thing again Just like that. Two, three, that's it. Yeah, that came better than the last one. See, that one came really. Is our trim of the excess line? So that's it. That's your unit only knot. Okay, and uh, typically for a big fish, I will use a uh, swivel this size. Improved clinch knot, 30 pound mono to uni to uni knot. Here there would be an X anchor, but I didn't uh, use it now because I just wanted to show you guys how to tie this knot and braided fishing line then onto my reel and my rod okay guys so this was the tutorial tutorial of today hope you liked our, uh, our video don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel have a good day